Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi everybody. Now, I've talked a lot on my channel about external flash or strobe for your photography. And I wanted to do a quick beginner's guide to this helpful piece of kit, the light stand. And as you can see here, the light stand with the flash bracket, the flash attached and a shoot through umbrella. If you fancy having a go at photography using flash, whether that be portraits, still lifes, food or interiors, often you'll want to soften the harsh light from your flash. And that's what the shoot through umbrella does by turning the small light source of your flash into a huge one the size of the umbrella. First, let's look at the core of this setup, the light stand. You can get these pretty cheap on eBay, and if you're an amateur, I wouldn't recommend spending too much money, but this one, a Cotswold CLS 65, is a good balance. Because they don't cost too much, the feet can twist past the 90 degree point, and the telescopic sections are fairly robust and hold the weight of my flash, no problem. As you can see, the stand is high enough, it's easy to put up and fast to stow away. I've got two of these to use with my flash photography and they have come in very useful over the past few years I've owned them. On the top of the stand is the flash bracket, which comes separate, which not only holds the flash, but has a hole and a screw for securing the shoot through umbrella. This plastic type is very lightweight and not that durable, and I'd recommend spending a few more pounds to get tough units. But saying that, these have never let me down but I do only ever use them inside. I don't use them in sort of more tougher studio conditions. You can angle the flash and the bracket with ease and it locks into place fairly securely. Lastly, we've got the shoot through umbrella itself. Cheap enough on eBay, coming in lots of different sizes, but don't go too big unless you've got a studio because they take up a lot of space. The shoot through umbrella acts as a diffuser, spreading out and softening the light. An alternative would be the reflective umbrella with the flash firing back into it, but I prefer the control of the shoot through. Remember, for super soft light, you want to be getting this as close as possible to the subject without it appearing in the frame, so that that light wraps around and doesn't cause harsh shadows. And I'd recommend you take a look at the articles on the Strobis website for some more detailed discussions of flash techniques. So there we go. A quick look at the flash photographer's best friend, the light stand, flash bracket and shoot through umbrella. Please put any questions and comments down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you'd like to see more and I'll see you again soon.